Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to learn how to use a practical to motivate the lighting for our scene. Stay tuned to find out how we go from this to this. We need to set up the camera and find our frame. This was my original framing so I could start shaping the light. Let's take away all the light we don't want and turn on the practical. A practical is any light that's seen on camera. This is with just our lamp on. Now we need to add and wrap the light around the face. We're striking the Amaran 300C. So this is our key light without any modifiers. This light is very hard and it doesn't match the lamp or the scene at all. I bounce the light into the wall and ceiling to soften it. It's better, but the shadows on the wall are distracting still. So first we had to move our set off the wall so that we didn't have to deal with the shadows kind of falling right on the wall and being distracting. Of course, now I had to reframe the shot and raise the lamp because it feels too low for this angle. I always like to add dimmers to all my practicals so I can control the level of the light really easily. So when filming, I like to go into a project knowing what my aperture is gonna be, that I, my target aperture that I wanna shoot at. So for this project, I chose a T2.9. So now I need to raise the key light by a stop to get it to a T2.0, which is one stop underexposed from where our lens is. Now we're at a two, that's perfect. Now we need to control the spill of the light. I don't like seeing the shadow of the lamp on the wall. It's unnatural and it feels lit. Instead of bouncing the light off the ceiling, I decided to bounce the light into a 4x8 ultra bounce so I could better control the direction and spill of the light. It's better, but the light feels too directional and still too much spill on the back wall. I ended up creating a book light and using a 2x3 silk and flags to soften and control the spill of my light. A big part of cinematography is problem solving and making adjustments on the fly. I'm looking at this shot and I really don't like it. The location I'm working with is a boring wall with a dark corner. I wanted to add more depth so I decided to move my camera for the third and final time to add some foreground into the image. I'm happy with the framing and lighting of our subject, but I don't like our background. It's too dark, there's no depth, there's no texture. So first I tried to let some window light in, hoping that that would solve my issue, but it felt wrong and out of place for the mood and tone of the scene. So instead, I opened up my flag and let a little key light spill onto the background. All right, everything's looking good now. So I sat down to run the scene and I realized at this point that when I turned to look at the other character, a whole portion of my face is in deep shadow, too dark for what I want to see. So I added the Nanlite Forza 60C through a 4x4 frame of full soft frost to add some fill light. Without the fill light, with the fill light. This is what false color looked like on my Flanders DM240. The skin tones were at 25 to 35 IRE. Okay, that's it. Let's take a look at the final scene. Ash, do you know where mom is? I haven't seen her all week. I'm getting worried. I'd like to report a missing person. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you're interested in any of the gear I use, I left Amazon affiliate links down below. Feel free to check it out. If you like this content and want to see more, hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys next time.